milk, eggs, nuts, soy, and shellfish. There are just some peanuts as well. Some of the most commonly associated foods with allergies. Yeah, according to the CDC, food allergies are becoming more and more common yeah. even. An estimated 15 million Americans are currently living with food allergies, which is why an area school is providing students with access to medication, which is not as easy to come by nowadays. News yeah. 3 This Morning reporter Eden Checkle joins us live with more. Good morning, Eden. Hi, Adam and Danica. Good morning. So hives, swollen eyes, itchy mouth or shortness of breath. These are the allergic reactions that staff and teachers here at Our Lady Queen of Peace School do not want their students to experience. But if they do, they've got a plan. Now, Our Lady Queen of Peace School is enrolled in the EpiPens for Schools program, which was launched by Mylon and BioRidge Pharma. Now, Mylon is the company that creates these EpiPens, and so they are giving out four EpiPens uh, to this school for free to junior EpiPens for kids, 66 pounds and under, and to regular regular EpiPens for older kids. Now, prior to receiving the EpiPens, the school was given a prescription by a doctor at UW Health. And Lori LaFont, who does have a daughter attending Our Lady Queen of Peace School, says having a child with food allergies can be challenging and stressful. As a parent of a food allergic child, you worry about every single thing that your child eats every day. Because even if it's not something dangerous or that they're allergic to, it could have touched something that they're allergic to or be cross-contaminated with something they're allergic to. And so at any moment, you can get that phone call. Now, Lori got that phone call just last week from her daughter's school when her nine-year-old daughter, Nadia, had an allergic reaction. Her teacher, who was trained, uh, did give her the EpiPen, but then Nadia was sent to the emergency room where she spent the next 24 hours in the care of health professionals. And, you know, her mother says that this situation highlights why it's so important to have EpiPens in the schools, and it's even better that this school is getting them for free. Now, the cost of EpiPens has really soared. We talked about this at the beginning of the school year. Back in 2007, it was less than $100 for uh, a pack of two EpiPens. Now it's over $600. So again, for families struggling, trying to figure out, you know, where do we store the EpiPens at home, uh, on the go in the purse with us or at school, mm -hmm. they can at least get a peace of mind knowing that the school does have free EpiPens. And this school is signed to a year-long program. So they're going to be able to restock on the EpiPens throughout the school year. Um, so, yeah, this is something that's great for the school, the kids, and, of course, for the parents. Very Back to you. Very interesting. Ian Chuckle, photojournalist Mark Schilling, thanks for being out in the rain for us this morning. <laughs> we appreciate it.